getting three stocks on a big stage in Momocon. You know, Dadix in the background, absolutely cheering for his son, seeing everything just. It's what an interesting option moment, to go for. I'm, not only for you as a competitor. Shattuck, color me impressed. You've player. impressed Mars today. Exciting to see uh, where Shattuck can take this and carry that momentum throughout this competition. I want to know how this went game five. I need to see exactly who, when, where, what got outplayed. And, you know, very, very talented throughout. NT. <laughs> Corn is a lot better than people think, or this guy's just really good. I think a bit of both. Mars, you know who won the Momocon? I do. We're gonna watch Grands after this, and whatever set that people think is interesting. Okay, so fun fact about this matchup. Um, I'm pretty sure Diddy won in Smash 4 when Bayonetta was the uncontested best character in the game. So, for this to go game five when Bayonetta is essentially diet and Diddy Kong has been buffed and has been doing really well, that is insane to me. What the heck happened? I haven't watched any of the DD sets. Plus, Tweak has like played Bayonetta, not only in four, but also in ultimate. So, he knows what Bayonetta does. He doesn't usually uh, struggle against the characters that he's played. That was a fast turnaround back here, my god. Isn't that like a frame? It's like turnaround. How fast is this turnaround? I don't know when the end lag ends, but he's already jumping. Jesus. That was like frame one turnaround back here. He buffered, I guess. He, he, he buffered two things at once. That's an instant back air. It's the simple things. The simple things that go unappreciated. Doosh! Does item toss actually cancel Bayonetta's like landing lag? I don't think it does. That was DD's first major, was it? Dude, gaming. He almost has DD. Tweak with the schmovement. Does get a wish time onto that banana. That is one of the deadly things Bayonetta can do is catch you in a projectile there. I don't even like expect any crazy combos. That's kind of like the thing, <laughs> you know. It was. I didn't know that. RNG item drop. Okay. Call me crazy. I think if uh, so sometimes when you get hit, there's like a, like a what, 50% chance? I don't know the math specifically, but there's a large chance that you just drop whatever item you're holding. Ooh, wait, hold up, cooking. I do not think that that item should belong to anybody. If you if it was a force drop on a hit, I think it should just be a neutral item with no effects or something. I don't know, or or have it become the player who hit you, because the fact that you could just hit Diddy and then trip is stupid. Being only 15, that gets 15, jeez. Game. She hefty. 
back into the neutral, but it's not gonna find Okay, I'm gonna uh, call me crazy. I don't think he wins this game. Here for Diddy that can catch you off guard. Because now he's up looking for a parry, tries to get the up tilt, but Lima staying alive in this one. Great drop down. Nope. And he is trying Wasn't gonna to trip. <laughs> which time it looked like that banana to see if he can catch something here. But it's not gonna How many more hitboxes can yeah. this fucking dude do? It's kind of just getting humbled by some Bayo things. You know, there are basic moves that Still alive. Ha, 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 Eventually, something will kill, right? You've stayed alive for a long time. Jeez. Any Prime Gamers in the chat want to give it up for free? Free subs? Free Prime Gamings? I do this for a living? I beg? I'm so good at it? You're a great singer. Thanks, man. See me at karaoke. Psych! Those strobe lights flashing in the players has to be distracting. Uh, if you look very closely, you can see that it's not happening right now to the players. See, the funny thing about this stage, right, is that if Bayonetta does up B under the Smashville platform, she can't do anything else. However, it does function as a really good mix-up spot to land after all your landing lag. Ooh, wait, that was good. What are these punishes from Tweak? These are pretty underwhelming. He's like, an he's anticipating them and not getting heavy punishes. Is basically what I'm saying. Job of waiting for the option afterwards, not going for immediate combo options, immediate down tilt F smash options at the ledge like that. And to your point, he's oh, another option, immediate down tilt F smash options at the ledge like that. And to your point, he's all unfortunate SD coming out. Sub, but you saved the five months per ride. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Any other prime gamers want to sub for free? Sub games. You get sub games, you get, what else do you get? Emotes, Discord. These are some lazy side Bs coming out from Tweak 2 to get back to stage. See what I mean by the up B? He did it under the platform, couldn't do anything. Interesting option coverage. Didn't work out, but it was solid. Oh no, the lights are going. Oh, the strobe lights are in there. Why is that happening? Stop that. He does surrender that center platform we were talking about earlier on in the set. You can see very confident from Tweet to use throws, try and extend some combos, use the platform to your advantage and reset, and just basically build a huge threat radius that Lima has to Please do not blind the players. It's not asking much. even choke right now, but Tweet could mount a massive lead in a matter of seconds using that banana combos because it almost feels like Lima hasn't really been able to... It's a lot more damage than I would expect Bayonetta to get on Tweet, considering his SDI is good. Wow. Shades of ZSS, am I right, guys? He hits the jab. Doesn't true combo into itself. Sorry. Silver Pendulum, thank you for the four months. That would have been a stock, too. That jab actually would have killed, see? Like so. Get you out! Yeah, the jab combo takes it out. I mean, Diddy is pretty small. Oh, wow. That hold is so good. I love when Bayonetta's do the up air hold for the extra hit. Kind of starting to get a little bit antsy for these kill options. Lima's doing a good job of just playing patient, waiting for these options, but not enough to survive the down tilt into the into the up smash. So now, even game, anyone can come back from this situation. Ooh, out. Taking Huge. Banana and trying to that side B made a lot of sense. It's now basically who is a lot of players. This, this every there's what. 548 people in chat right now, about 500 of you, because you know it's an option, would know that if you have an item in your hand, exactly what Tweak is doing right now, 
every single one of you would drop off of the ledge, jump, and then throw the projectile and try to do something crazy with it. Because it's a free landing aerial. I would do it too. Because it's so cool. And Lima does a, a side B here to try and cover it. And would have got really big damage if it actually worked out. Who is going to buckle first to the shield pressure? Yeah, we've seen whoever has the lead in this set. But he's, he's basically not landing any heal slides. It's making them play better. We've seen Ant's getting spoke from Lima and now from Tweak. Where they're looking for the kill options when they really don't need to. And you can see now back towards a more even state. Who can calm down play this matchup? I think the most safe. Because this wow. is one of those matchups in the game where it's not about creating something. It's about punishing and over. No barrels. about to do that right now. Neutral air off to the side. Still fine. Back, but did he does. That's a good recovery. Jeez. Back to the middle of the stage. Yeah, I almost wonder if Lena saved him there at that last point. Knocked him out of the barrels and then tried to go for... The, the pace is getting faster. The pressure's building up. Might have given Tweak the barrels back again. That was so Even far. Which time comes through and that seals the game. Damn. With an up smash. Lima and Tweak. What could Tweak have done different after the witch time? And that's space to knock him out and that might have given Tweak... You can see very clearly here, dude. Why? Why did he look like that? Why? Why does he know he got witch time? He's like, ah. <laughs> um, hold up, real quick. Thank you for the five gifted silver, Pendolin. I I really appreciate that. That's my goat. He could have he could have double jumped here, or done like a directional air dodge. But I think double jump was probably the correct option. Oh, actually no, because maybe maybe the upside I still would have hit. In a one and one in this best of five maybe an aerial because uh an aerial would collide with the up smash i'm not sure i'm not sure what the correct option there was once the witch time was proc double jump air dodge there is no way you get both of those inputs in by the time bayonetta is up smashing you Yeah, you hit on a really great point there, Shope, where we almost kind of lost composure after the SD. However, new stage not mashing out of Bayonetta combos into getting heal slided true combo. Lima already off to the races with a fast 63, 71. Using those that's a big combo. Jeez, this doesn't even do that. Hold up, he's getting kind of outplayed right now. Tweak? Yeah, I think you're exactly right here. Is now Tweak is. Welcome to the jungle. <laughs> Rachel had a viral tweet like a couple days ago. Viral is a strong word, but it has like almost 80,000 likes or something like that. I'm actually going to pull up the tweet because it's pretty funny. Yeah, I mean, wow, what a commanding stock from Lima. Lima basically took no damage and has now just basically put Tweet in a hole where you now see Tweet just going for these kind of banana grabs and trying to set up some combos trying to threaten Lima off stage but there's nothing that Lima doesn't have to approach at this point there is such a lead that they built yeah see she said Tyler went to a whole ass anime convention and this was his only fucking purchase to be fair that's a good purchase it's literally on my front doorstep right now this is awesome this has a lot of likes uh, a lot of the comments and quote retweets are, I don't know who Tyler is, but he sounds goaded. And these people are correct. Um, some of, and you know, not very many, but my favorite answer was someone who tagged me and said, you need this. <laughs> that person doesn't know who Tyler is. In fact, that person is clueless. But I am a proud owner of a DK rug. Think of Young Dare Slayer for the eight months. Stupid song stuck in my head now. Dude, same, honestly. Who's this Tyler guy? I don't know. I don't know anymore. Wait, wait, wait. He lost a stock? What? I missed it. Did I miss it? Oh, wait. Was it a zero death? Actually, what happened? Okay, so he gets the huge combo. Does not get a... Does not get a thingy, Bob. You know, edge guard. This is where I left off mentally. She plugged you with a great person. There it is, up tilt there. True combo, basically, is here to death. Very close to it. 
Jason Lee put Tweak in a hole what where you doing there, Tweak? Yeah. you now see Tweak just going for these kind of banana grabs and trying to set up some combos, trying to threaten Lima off stage, but there's nothing that Lima doesn't have to approach at this point. There is such a lead that they've built that you have so much of a cushion that you don't really have to commit to anything that Tweak is doing. No, 100% right now. Lima is just doosh, right doosh, doosh. up. Last in percent. Gets another combo going. Gets a lot of these monkey flips, man. They're just like, the matchup, they're right? actually just really Lima lazy. More big damage, more BS. It's Morbin time. <laughs> I never even watched that movie. That's just a reaction of B. That stock lead is so important. If you're if you're Lima, you, you hold on to that for dear life. Trying to take should do it again. And oh. fully capitalize on that, like we said, the linear recovery that, did, that Diddy does have. There are some exploitable aspects to this neutral end. It seems so hard to kill Bayonetta when she goes on, like, evasive mode. No way that it feels like and then, you know, you get greedy on, on a platform and die at 100 to almost max rage Diddy Kong. And you, you tilt. Man's tilts. Some defensives try and find some crafty move that you have been keeping in the pocket, but it is anything can kill at this point. It definitely can. It does cancel your landing lag. Hold on. Do you have to do it while landing? That's interesting. I didn't know that. Right now, but Tweak does turn it around. Goes to let you bait it out that witch time. Not gonna be able to though to confirm that one around as Lima goes with the aggressive option, the back air, and gets that kill right back. With like I feel like Tweak is, uh, you know, really good at doing the things that don't get him punished. And then I watch him play this set, and he's doing most of them, which is brain dead monkey flips. And challenging when you really shouldn't be. With the banana now, trying to find some unique kill options using the aerial bananas, trying to create some stun. But one thing that I do want to see show is maybe a less of a full hop commit from, from Tweet and yeah. try and stuff out the shorter options that Lima has been continually punishing you for. Bayonetta does have good burst range, but like you said, it is pretty much mid range burst range. And Diddy can play from a little bit further away, but we're not seeing a ton of that. He does get the monkey flip there, does not get the kill, takes the banana in his hand. Comes to the ledger. Can he get a pit crap? The schmix. Oh, that's dead. As, yeah, I, I guess he no does. Schmicks. He does slip up. The schmix in question. Side B to the left there, which uh, does kill Lima. Yeah, unforced error coming out from Lima, but you still are at a fresh percent stock, so you do have some of the fresher moves. And you Hit him with the chip like damage. Much more patient with the gun. Kind of sitting in the corner and trying to go. This is how you play against Diddy. This is an Aaron dash attack. Or you say, go ahead, monkey flip me, coward. Stop the shield in some capacity. Right now, I think Tweet, you do have to just commit to holding that center stage because, like we see now, Lima will eventually try to zone break you. Because the next hit, is, like, that Diddy gets on you, you see that little funny banana in here? It's, it's going to do a lot of damage. It would even up the game. And probably much more because Diddy's broken at an advantage. It just didn't hit. What the heck? Look at <laughs> Frame by frame. Let's run that one. Hold up. Uh, uh, this dude's cheating. This dude's got wall hacks. <laughs> Looking to cover some options, he does with the monkey flip, and now back towards the ledge, pulls the banana out. Yeah, there does there does come some aspect that you were talking about earlier with men. Dude was upside down. Matchup. You are racking up a lot of combo percent against the band. Again, it literally happened again. You are racking up a lot of. Hold up. Oh my god, that's so fucked up. How? That's not okay. He did have a relatively healthy stock earlier, but now he keeps teleporting. You do have to just keep that composure. Make sure you're getting your combo starters. Find those confirms. You can see Tweet doing a good job getting some of these air. Micro spacing isn't real. Just get quick chip damage, and now we're starting to look at those kill percents both ways. Yeah, we're back towards an even amount here, and Tweet has kept this banana in his hand. I think holding on to it for the most part for dear life until he just. Puts it off the stage, and now it's in a rough situation. But he does get the monkey flip grab right back onto Lima, who reverses the stage control. Tweak back towards the middle, though, with the banana in his hand, and he's looking for some of those confirms now. Bayonetta, a pretty light character. I think How do you play last hit as Bayonetta against Diddy Kong? Tweak, and he gets a combo going. Bates oh, out the air. That's dodge, what happens. That's three, what you do. Kill, and what a recovery there from Tweak. You have to keep such composure. That was a really good string. Ending the stream early on purpose to get an almost guaranteed kill on the defensive option. Resources that the bayonet is using. You know, we made a little bit of a jab earlier. If every time you think that the bayonet. What's up, Aaron? 
He literally <laughs> fucking <laughs> needs it. No, he doesn't, dude. That that was a boosted ass side B. What the fuck was that? My man's was straight up upside down and just grabbed him in the face. That's insane. He doesn't need that. I feel less bad after seeing that hitbox. I used to think that monkey flip was like... Okay, no, I still think that monkey flip is broken, but I used to think that I was bad for getting hit by it. After that, absolutely not. It's totally reasonable. No follow-ups. Ooh. Wow, that's kind of... I like that, that whole forward air option. Yeah, doing a good job of, like we said, threatening the barrel. I would have just trying to play around the banana consistently. Well, I guess it would have made it so he didn't have landing legs, and I uh, had eye frames. So you know, maybe the wish time was the proper option there. Try and find some type of combo starter again, running back to the skate control and not taking any of the bait using some of those. I believe that's the banana neutral air, just not taking any movement there. Good, good use of the drops coming out from Tweet, but doesn't he go? Again, ba uh, he go Sephiroth at some point. Wow, man, that is back, baby. Four air, four air. Definitely a true combo. Don't check. I feel like there's no world where Ultimate Bayonetta should be getting away with four air one into four air one. Or one two into one. It doesn't matter. Four air should not be hitting twice like that without landing. You gotta punch him. Oh no. Oh no. Tweak accidentally SD's. All of the games that Tweak dropped, he SD'd. And now we know what happened. Unfortunately, fall short in this situation. Why his tweet so far back in his seat? Hold up. Let me let me move my thing. This dude is vibing. Look at this dude. He's like, yeah, yeah, I lost this game. I'm gonna get camped by a bayonetta for the next five minutes. Let's just make this quick. Oh. You're going for kill <laughs> too early. We saw the witch the, the air uh, right up smash there, better, I guess. I don't know. It's my, own, it's my only valuable piece of advice. We now see Lima just taking these aggressive stances and getting all these you know, vertical combos to try and just take tweak out. Yeah, he is. And the, the percentage now is going to be really hard for him to come back on, especially with Lima with three stocks. And yeah, dash attack. Damn. Do it. The dash attack comes out for the kill. Three stock. Three star. <laughs> that means he's gonna win. Fox sucks. Thoughts? I think you're fucking stupid. It's my thoughts. Yeah, we saw a similar thing happen. You know, I believe it was in game three. Tweak literally lost the lead, and he was like, "Whatever happens, happens. I'm just playing the game." <laughs> This dude actually went Sephiroth game five. I don't really understand the thought process, but he definitely did. Oh, he's leaning forward now. He's playing his favorite character. Do you think Lima knows that uh, Bayonetta can probably crouch low profile like most of Sephiroth's options? I remember playing against Nairo and friendlies, and I was just playing Snake and just crouching like forward tilt, forward air. Sometimes like some other options that I definitely remember at this moment. Sephiroth is one of those characters you should be crouching in against neutral, against in neutral. Assuming you have like a good low like crawler crouch, it's pretty neat. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. I think the bar is if you can go under four tilt, and it's definitely just worth doing. If I was Lima, I'd be super down to playing against Sephiroth, dude. Tall characters against Bayonetta? Not fun. Take it from me. I play a tall character against Bayonetta. I don't, know, right? yeah, I don't think that was a true combo. Yeah, really good clutch as well from Tweet coming out using the back air to seal the stock. So you still have the wing for a little bit longer. You can now play with it. But now, back to 21%, you have to now find a little more honest kills. Do you think it's better to play Sephiroth passive or aggressive? 
control center stage had seemed to be the win condition here for yes Kane, but if you're lima you have to slow down your tempo again whoa guys look he's slingshotting look at him lima, you have to slow down wahoo your tempo again. <laughs> yeah, looking to he did it once he's more. insane he comes towards the middle of the stage he's on the neutral air trying to follow up on it but lima you know this is the the, the double-edged sword here of going with a different pick in game five right now it's more on the side of tweak because it looks like lima doesn't have the that all, doing all hits of fortier there while trying to hit tweak was thoughts and prayers to the max uh you, you end up in a bad situation but right now since you work out for tweak is now lima looks for his first kill but the back here Damn. does the spacing is trash lima was playing so good yeah, and then this happened you also have to pay attention to the fact that tweak is now now he's playing like a bot with some rage where sephiroth i say that then biggest outplay kill options that will just blow up lima's stock so 84% closing out with the throw from Lima, but now these ledge traps have tweaked just been so All those jumps were slingshots, by the way. Every game. single one. You're just threatening with your presence and short hopping in place. Yeah, tweak, is really a tweak is the most methodical play I've ever seen. His tech is insane. His movement. We need to bring movement back, dude. I miss when that was like the controversial, like, I'm saying that. Yeah, now we see Lima going back to that strategy we saw a little bit during game three and four, kind of coming off the ledge extremely aggressive. Just went under back here, kind of blind spot. Reset the stage control that Faye oh. ended up Douche! No jump, he's got one jump, one jump, one jump. Out for tweak. He got two? I could have sworn he jumped. Spike, but now that ledge trap gets a lot more intimidating. Last week is jumping in place, you have the wing to basically ensure your yep. damage. You do, and we're going to see here if you can find pretty much one straight like Ariel is, he might end up being a stock, but. Lima not gonna allow him to do that chain coming in. Thought that he would air. Is that like supposed to read like an air dodge? Like almost definitely, right? The hard read. And Tweak says, "Look, man, I've already read this page. I'm gonna show you how it is." <laughs> Tweak is Tweak taking. Tweak's gameplay is, is methodical, is though. Okay, big guy. Like we said, okay, big guy. How many episodes of Tweak talks have you watched? You buy all the merch? Be honest with me, Caleb. Have to play extremely safe to make sure you don't get robbed by Bayonetta. Yeah, and again, look at that. Waiting out that witch time. Tweak just has a second sense, I think, or sixth sense, I guess, uh, for when that witch time is going to come out and does it. Nice, nice there. timing. Uh, yet again, air dodge does miss uh, and still gets hit there from Alima, and now Alima starts to rack up her sense. Yeah. Full hopping on Tweak's shield, ill advised. Doesn't usually work. But that doesn't really matter for him as now he's just putting on all this. He's been in that credit, situation too many times. Lima. Can't really find a way back in. I mean, you have to find any way back in. How do you get over there? What happened? Really find a way back in. Oh, he, he lost everything. Before even finding a way back. Oh, forces the air dodge with the F smash. Tweak in commanding fashion. Yeah. Coming back against Lima. And I think right there when he caught him with the two frame, it didn't reset Lima's a double jump, right? I listen to every episode of Tweak Talks. They talk about Sonic so much and it pulls me in. your side beats, your up beats, it allows you to do those again. So if you can touch a like the, the lore? Did they talk about the lore? Put me on the episode of Tweet Talk when they start talking about Sonic lore, right? That's where I thrive. Dude, I see so many Prime Gamings in chat not being used, and it's pissing me off. I'm gonna admit it, alright? It's been 15 minutes since the last sub. There's like 6 million of you in here. I got bills to pay, alright? I don't know what I ever did to you guys, but it's free! Three stocks. Oh, this is. I think this is what people were talking about. This is what I was told about. This is what happened to Fatality. How are you gonna say? Okay, three stocks, one clip. You know, it, it, it's not really cool when you curate the first minute out of the fucking clip. Sick the eye. God like the eye. Did, did Tweak just become Fatality? Oh no, the the camera clocked in. It almost didn't feel like he was going to take uh, the whole stock, right? But 